Greetings and salutations. Welcome to after ep 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 oh, fucking hell. Episode fifty six. This is a big one, boys. Second season. Premier League. We've made some transfers. As you can see by the screen, we've sold everyone. No, no, yeah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, idiot. Right, we made some transfers. Some exciting transfers, I'd say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unveil the team. Okay, so we're just going to look at each position, see what we've done. First up, goalkeepers. Okay, nothing's happened there at all. So Tim Krul's gone. We'll go through the outs more when I get to that page because I probably won't forget them. But Mihalovic, Mihalic is our number one now this season. Um, he's a quality young goalkeeper. I'm going to keep the faith, get him some game time. He's going to improve. We re-signed Hubert. Um, who was our sort of third choice just as a backup yeah so not much really happened there okay so let's untick those for a chance let's look at left-sided defenders okay so one new name here um, this is a backup to Charlie Taylor Mario Rui who I got on a free transfer just a decent all-rounder, really, really good at going forward. Good attacking fullback. Not too much, but they they get better, boys. I pro I promise they get better. Next up, we have in central defence, lining up for Leeds this year. Who can you see? Who can you see? Everybody's like staring at the screen. One new name. It's Yanga and Biwa. Thirty-one-year-old central defender, French. Absolute beast of a player. Um, wanted a bit more experience in there. We've got a few youngsters. Uh, we got him on a free transfer from Lyon. Still playing plenty of games for Lyon last season. I don't know why they really let him go, but that's fine by me. Absolute quality defender. Loads of experience. A few caps for France. Okay, not too bad. A bit better than the last one. It's just going to get better, boys. It's just going to get better. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay, right-sided. Nobody. <laughs> Even I'm not sure I'm looking again. Is there anybody there? Nobody. Okay, so that's not too exciting. You saying, well, you've not wowed me. You've not wowed me, Loki. That's 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 nothing. Let's have a look at midfielders. Um, do we look at midfielders? I'm trying to do the order. I'm just I'm trying to think of who was going to come up. Let's go for defensive midfielders because I'm not sure who will come up. Oh, there's a new name, Ruben Loftus Cheek. Uh, 24 years old, just a solid central midfielder and defensive midfielder. I want somebody that can cover both positions. Ridiculous physicals. <clears throat> Still only 24 years old. Only 1.2 million from the relegated Aston Villa. That's what I was saying about in the last episode about scouting those relegated teams. Like that's a bargain in anyone's book. Young young English player. Bags of talent, really good cover for many positions, loving it. See, it's getting better, it's getting better, but it gets much, 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 much better. Next up, we have, I think there might be a few interesting ones when I click this button. Dig, dig. Yeah, here's a few names here that might interest you. First off. John Joe Shelby, whether you want to call him Dr. Evil, whether you want to call him Voldemort or Voldemort and Dr. Evil's love child, he's in. Finally, we got him. We tried to sign him last season in the January transfer window. It never happened. But we've got him now. Voldemort is in the team. 2.5 million. I think an absolute bargain. I still think he's a really good player. I like to try and have an English sort of stem to my team. I don't want to go too foreign. Absolute quality player. Really hope he's going to score a few goals from range. Great passing, great long shots, great technique. Shoots from distance, comes to get the ball, dictates tempo, dives into tackles, likes to switch ball to other flank. Yeah, he's like a mini bald Steven Gerrard. And finally, we have, as Leeds fans, you'll know this guy. It's Fabian Delf. It's only Fabian Delf who started his career at Leeds. Uh, had three seasons at Leeds, came through the youth ranks in the... Uh, 2008-9 season uh, who then Aston Villa picked him up for a 6 million after a really good season he didn't really make the first team too much in those three years so loaned back to Leeds didn't really get many games at Leeds 
Uh, but then he came into his own, did really well, had three good seasons at Aston Villa. Man City paid eight million. Uh, he's not played a game for four years. <laughs> I might have to teach him the rules of football again, but it's been that long. But as a cover option and an ex Leeds player, forget the little down arrows. Just ignore them. Ignore them. Um, very versatile player. Play pretty much any sort of position in, yeah, literally any position in central midfield. Absolute quality player. He's going to do really well for us. Still only 30. 18 caps for England. Now. See, it's getting better, isn't it? It's getting better. You just wait for this. Are you ready? I better make sure nobody else comes up here. Right, yeah. Attacking midfield. Who could we have bought that's an attacking midfielder? Are you ready? Bleep. Jack. Grealish. We talked about him last episode for the relegated Aston Villa. And we brought him into the club. Quality player. Great all-round stats. He's a good dribble. He's going to get us goals playing from that inside forward position. But he can play anywhere across that uh, behind the striker. Four-star current ability. 13 caps for England. Still only 24 years old. Cost us 21 million. Like we said, his value was about 25 <clears throat> So if they weren't relegated, we would have been looking at 40 million for him. I'm absolutely delighted to get him into the club. So looking forward to using him very much. And finally, this is the big one for me. This is the big one. Anthony Marshall or Anthony Marshall, whoever you want to call him. Look who it fucking is, boys. Look at that. Three and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential ability. Again, still only 24, valued at 14 million. Couldn't believe it when he was available. It, it was a long negotiation. I'll show you what happened to him. He's had a quite a weird career, to be honest. So he can play as a complete forward. So he's our sort of main backup striker, but he can also play that inside forward role, which we had trouble with last season. Absolute beast of a player. We signed him for 15 million. He actually went to Bournemouth on a free. I'm so annoyed that I didn't spot that. Um, I'm not sure if he would have come anyway. Uh, but, uh, yeah, 15 million. I was happy. Couldn't believe it when I saw that he was he was available and he was going to come to us. He had a... Uh, Bournemouth got relegated, I think, last season. So they had to sell up, make some money. Anthony Martial, boys. Couldn't believe it. Very, very excited about this season. Um, let's make sure there's no other players I've totally forgotten about. So that is our team. Make sure I've not left anybody totally off the list. As you can see, Bastian Schweinsteiger is still here because he's a coach as well. So he's sort of kind of just doing his coaching really. He's not really getting games. So we are going to play one game. Let's look at the outs first. Um... This is what happened. These, these are a bunch of youth players. Mark Ring we sent out on loan. I'll go through the youth players because a couple of you guys have mentioned to see what sort of youth, how the youth is getting on. Uh, we sold Tim Krull to West Ham for 850000 uh, Couldn't get much more money for him. He had a, a big wage, so I don't think there was many teams willing to pay it. Sad news, though. Moment of silence. <clears throat> yeah, that's enough. Stuart Dallas has left the club for a million pounds. Uh, he was brilliant for us. He was so important to getting us promoted to the Premiership. But once he got there, he, he kind of just wasn't good enough, to be honest. He's he's top top team, top championship team level, really. Uh, so it's a sad day that he went. Uber Meccano has also had to leave the team for 1.2 million. Um, never really developed as much as we'd hoped. Decided to cash in on him, just get a couple of a million for him. Hagazi. Our troubled Egyptian, he uh, did really well. First, he, we got him in on a free and loaned him out. Then the second in the Sky Championship, he did okay. And then I spent the last three seasons trying to get rid of him, and he didn't want to go. Sent Bobby Rhodes out on loan. We'll go there through there. Ne next up, we got Banana Silver, who because of what who we've bought in, um, we loaned uh, Banana Silver out for another season. And so we got, they're paying his full wages and £200,000 a month. So a nice little earner on that front. 
Chris Ryan went out on loan. And uh, Ricardo Kappa, the young Italian that we bought in as a backup a couple of years ago, sold, sold for 100,000. Um, a few more loans. And then Piazon went for 6 million. I did kind of want to keep him. He didn't have a very good introduction to, for us. He, was, he wasn't that good when he came in. But... I saw the opportunity to make a couple of million and I needed to raise the funds um, to buy, get all the other transfers in. My club badges in Brazil are all over the place for some reason. They're giant for some bizarre reason. So plenty of movement out. Let's look at the under-21s. So this is our under-21s. Um, still trying to get rid of Correa. Nobody wants him, boys. This was a flop and a half. Uh, never really worked out just didn't it's not really happened for him he was okay in the championship uh, but struggled in the premiership um, I might look to just loan him out this season perhaps or try and get rid of him um, I have offered him out for a couple of million and nobody wants him so uh, we'll see next up we've got Bobby Rhodes as our youngsters these are our youngsters now so Bobby Rhodes I've, I've had a bit of trouble with this he'd probably be in my team as a backup by now but he's such an out and out winger which I don't play. I might eventually end up selling him. Maybe with some big sell-on fee. Um, just to raise some money. Because you know he's okay. But he's not really inside forward material. Um, next up we've got Anthony Cooper. Another left sided midfielder. Uh, kind of a lesser version of Bobby Rhodes really. He's out on loan. Then we've got Chris Ryan. I'm hopeful about this kid. He's a central midfielder. I'm hoping he can come back, have a good season, come back and maybe be a backup next season. Still only 19, so he needs to start proving himself, really. Then we've got Mark Ring. He's been with us a few seasons. He actually got some game time a couple of seasons ago. He's okay. Um, again, not the most... He's not a fantastic inside forward. We don't play with that attacking midfield position. Um, he's 20 years old now, so maybe that's one I might have to look to sort of move on, unfortunately. And then, obviously, Banana Silva, who's just really really good we just give him some game time make a bit of profit as we're getting loads of money in he's gone to Leicester who are in the premiership so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on it'd be quite a big season for him so yes that that is our transfers uh, let me know what you guys think uh, of the transfers so far there might be a couple more I think I've spent all my money really we bought we spent almost 40 million we've bought in 11 uh, we've got 5 million left the board were quite good to us this season you know gave us plenty of money to spend we've oh yeah we've um, is it in here yeah we now have a loan of 87 million or something we have bought the stadium we own our own stadium which is fantastic uh, you know we're going to bring in more money then All right, so let's quickly build a team for that first game some Halic in goal we're going to go for the ever-present, who I bought in as a backup, but has been superb, Sam Byram, a right-back. We're going to go for uh, Liverstam and Eorfa to start with, I think. We'll, we'll, the Ang and B well, we'll bring in sort of gradually. Uh, no, no point chucking him in the first game. Charlie Taylor as the left-back. Defensive midfield, there's nobody else but Taffa Schoffer. Central midfield, now we've got a big battle here now. Obviously you can ignore Schweinsteiger, he's not going to get a game now. Um, he's still okay, but he, he's just unable to run. He's in a wheelchair, I think, at this point. But we're going to go with... Now we've got big decisions now. John Joe Shelby and Ravel Morrison. We'll go into the tactics screen in a minute so we can see more detail. Um, we're going to go Tuba Agpom up front. We're going to go Marshall inside forward left. Jack Grealish inside forward right. Not a bad little team if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, quite happy with that. Let's just fill out that subs bench. We'll go for Rui. And we'll have Raffina, and then we'll have Loftus Cheek, Fabian Delph, and, and there. 
that's the bench. So this is how we're going to start. Same tactic as last season. There's no point in changing it. We did it. Did, it worked for us quite well. Um, we've brought players in to fit this formation rather than the other way around. But that that front three is looking pretty dangerous, and the central midfield has definitely been strengthened. I haven't bothered doing the set pieces. I'll do that. I'll do that off uh, video. <laughs> So please leave a like in the video, guys, if you're enjoying the content, uh, and subscribe if you're new. It's much appreciated. It's, it's going to be an interesting season. Leave in the comments uh, on this episode alone where you think we're for, we're, we'll finish this season. The board are expecting... I can't even remember. The board are expecting mid-table again they expected mid-table our first season as well so we're not too worried about that playing Norwich 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 um, where did Norwich finish last season Norwich actually finished sixth last season so they're they're a good team they're not a little team anymore all right let's just go into it let's do it this is where we get our hearts broken and lose 4-0 I just feel it Okay, Taffers is the only one that's a bit knackered. We're going to rotate. We're going to try. We can also try Marshall up front and Tubrak Pom um, in the inside forward role. They've got. Who's that? Oh, James Wilson. I almost bought him. I, I was looking. I was, he was on transfer list for 9 million. And I'd already been offered 18 million for Akpom. And I was looking. But I've got to stick with the Akpom. He's proven quality. Okay. The team isn't that spectacular overall. It's all about the supporters. Ah, oh, the first game of the season. This is where all that work in pre season goes down the drain. Uh, lovely sound effect of my dog slurping up water because he can't really drink properly. Alright, here we go. We're going to get any debut goals for the two inside forwards. Marshall sprays it out to the right hand side for Byram. Grealish, Jack Grealish, plays it in, Marshall, oh, it's saved, what a save to start with, Hamid. It's a good start, good start, Grealish with the corner. Headed in, oh, Yorfa with the header. It's a good start, it's a very bright start. I, th I think we're going to get a good season out of this. We Touch wood. Um, I think we could maybe go for Europa League, he says, ish. If we're lucky with injuries, we haven't got the biggest squad. I might need to get one sort of one or two loanies in just to fill out the squad in case of injuries. But I think we've got a chance. Any chance? Any chance? There we go. I'm happy with that first game. I'm very happy. Carry on, boys. We'll bring on some of the other debutants uh, later on in the half. But it's nice to bring some, another ex Leeds player in. In um, Fabian Delph. Grealish with another corner. It's gone to the back post. He offer again. Scrambles. Yes! Of course it is. Of course it is. It's Tuba Akpom. Juba. It's that, it's that, it's that. I've got to stop doing that. Need a song. Somebody give me a fucking song. Eolfa. Yeah, two black pop. What's his song? Um. Yeah, he might have been. Everybody's going on about Grealish and Marshall, but Juba's just reminding everyone who's the daddy. Right. Delphinium's coming on. We'll, bring up, we'll swap both central midfielders over. Did I put them the right way around? Delph and Loftus Cheek for their debuts. I want to get everybody used to the team and everything as quickly as possible. Even if it costs me a couple of results, um, that's fine. I want everybody nice, cohesive team. Oh, 
Come on, boys. Let's just see it out. See it out. This would be a fantastic toss start to the season. Grealish with another deadly corner. Is it going to be? Headed away. Oh, oh, this could be a break. Somebody tackle him. Somebody tackle him. There's so much space on the right hand side. He's gone on the left hand side. Take that. Byron, don't foul anybody. You're on a yellow card. Dos Santos, Hainan, Oliver, Williams. Oliver! Oh, you don't need to save that, Mahalic. <laughs> Why do goalkeepers save shots that are 10 feet wide of the post? Just showing off. Good header away from Mac Poms. He's doing his defensive duties as well. Dos Santos, that's offside, surely. Thank you. Let's make our final sub. We'll go for... Rui. Mario. Just drop this to counter. Can we win this back or is this uh, Norwich highlight? Looks No, we can win that back. Byram. Tafferstoffer, Grealish, who's had a fantastic game. Those set pieces have been deadly so far. Byram. Good ball in. Back post. Marshall! Get in there! Debut goal. Loving it. Loving it. Byron whips one in. Agpon misses it. Marshall back post just beats his man. Hamid got a hand on it, but it wasn't strong enough. 2 0 against the sixth place team from last season. Another set piece. Tafferschoffer. Plays it to the new boy, Rui. To the other new boy, Grealish. To the other new boy, Marshall. To the other new boy, Loftus Creek. To Agpom. Oh. Come on, let's keep a clean sheet, boys. No, 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 no. Tackle him. Oh, it's dangerous. Oh, tits. Politano. Machao Politano. What a, what a legend he is. Everybody knows about him. Good ball in. Good first touch. Oh. Right, let's not let's not lose this game, boys. <laughs> or draw this game. Cheeky little can't concentrate. Can't go wrong. Might as well start the season as we mean to go on. Yeah, so let me know in the comments what you guys think of the season, of our signings this season. And where we're going to finish in the league. Drop it a like. Subscribe for the fun and games that will go on. Marshall cuts inside. Oh, bit of a soft effort. Come on, boys. See it out, see it out. Oh, two minutes, the ref. No more than two, yeah? A few yellow cards, okay. That could be just enough time for a highlight here. Oh, that's it, Loftus Cheek. Just get rid of it. Not quite what I was hoping for but that'll do I did say just get rid of it 30 seconds oh this is it oh he saved it oh fucking hell oh, that should be it we just get rid of this and we're golden yes Tafashoffer and again and again that'll do nicely away win against seven what's it six in the league last seventh in the league last season well done boys Great Davies for the boys. Marshall got a 7.4. Grealish, what did he do? 7. I thought he deserved more for those set pieces alone. But still good. 7.2s. We got oh, six gold. Sam Byron, man of the match. Leeds legend. Fantastic. Hope you enjoyed the first episode, guys. This could be a very exciting season, I think. Those transfers, those top three are just going to be devastating this season. Grealish, Marshall and Akpom. They're going to be the heroes for us this season. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.